確かに膝曲げてコツなんですかコツ,コツ右手を回すコツ右手を回す<笑>ショーマのランディングショーマショーマのランディング<笑><笑>2010 Olympics win highlight was on her triple Lutz triple toe loop combination. Triple Lutz, triple toe, beautiful start. But for me, the best jump she did there were her triple sal cow and triple Lutz near the end. Beautiful, so good. The running edge out of that. Look at her landing there. How long did she hold it with one foot? With multiple three turns out of the jump that flow with the music. Her transition was simply unreal in the best of her prime time. We didn't see her reuse this transition again after she returned on the Olympic stage in 2014. Perhaps it's too difficult after she passed her prime. Triple Lutz tight, but done. And perhaps it's not as highly rewarded, but as a skating enthusiast, these special landings are what makes us remember a skater. Yuna's 2010 long program was the longest world record held for over six years, until it's broken in the 2016 World Championships, which brings us to number five. Genya Medvedeva is the one who broke Yuna Kim's world record at 2016 World Championships. Most people credited that for her extensive use of Tano hand variation. Wow, that is a gorgeous triple triple with the arm over the head. Oh, she did a lot of jumps with her arm over her head, and while that <laughs> doesn't actually add points, it adds to the grade of execution and the difficulty of the jump. But for me, the landing of Genya's jump is always a highlight of her programs. The more you learn about skating, the more you would start appreciating these exquisite transitions out of her jumps. 
which requires excellent control on her landing foot. The reach back into that second triple on this triple sound triple toe is insane. Her technique is so on point. Her successful career also influenced other Atari girls to take up these special landing approaches for their jumps. This jump from Sasha look familiar to you? She definitely learned it from watching this skater on ice. So difficult to go backwards to forwards on the same foot. It just takes straight off into the air. Number four. Really difficult entry into that triple axel. Huh, you basically created a path for everyone to start doing stuff. Wow, very difficult entry. He started he started difficult exit triple axel. This man literally started a trend for the new generation. He's all the sublime out he told it. Triple axel out of nowhere. So while triple axel become Hanyu's signature move. What skating fans are looking for is always what kind of new landing he would come up this time for his triple axel. Triple axel. Sweeping takeoff. Great ice coverage. Can you show me how, how to fix this mess? I am down on my knees and I As a to the edge. Beside triple axel, we have also seen some special landings on his quads. Number three. He was the only Olympic champion who stayed in and competed through the year. That actually was a quad. How easy did that look? Um, As the requirements for the quads get more intense throughout the years, we seldom see Hanyu performing a solo quadruple toe loop in the recent events, as he mostly performed the quad toe in combination. Quadruple toe, triple toe, just perfect. He had some of the nicest quad toe combination landing ever. But when he performed the solo quads in his routine, it's normally coupled with some of the most exquisite landings. Right here, huge jump for him. Quad toe, beautiful. Great way to start. Oh. His solo quads in the Grand Prix Final 2014 had one of the most exquisite landings we had ever seen. He landed it so well that he could still perform two of the most difficult transitions holding on to one foot skating for almost 10 seconds. And talk about perhaps the longest time a skater held it with one foot skating after a jump. It gotta be this one. And let's go to the... Number two. This is perhaps the best throw jump ever performed in the world. Look at how long she held her free legs up and how many transitions she did without ever changing her landing foot. The stillness of her upper body on those landings amazes me. Looks fake. Throw jumps are the hardest elements for a lot of pairs, for a lot of top pairs. Most throw jumps were either landed tight and saved with deep knee bend. High risk element like this throw triple salchow at the very end of the program. Oh. So to achieve such good landing flow out of this jump is extremely difficult. Even for the pair themselves, let's look at their World Championships 2021 for the same program. Notice the difference in landing. So it's always these special jumps that landed so well which left a lasting impression for us. Talking about leaving a mark in all skating fans' hearts, let's jump to them. Number one. Here another quad. Quad triple. While the previously introduced landings were done perfectly, sometimes it took some imperfection to make the landing special. Just like this landing save that goes against gravity, to a lot of fans, the most special landing are always those non-choreographed moments, which you can find a lot in Hanyu's programs. Give me all you've got If you're prepared to break the silence I'll be out of 
beside the lions. I've been feeling another quad.